the J2 system is an AI quantum computing technology that has the ability to use vast amounts of data that's being collected on the human do domain, that's us, to generate a human terrain system, which they talk about in that PDF. Okay, in a geograph in geographic locations, in order to identify, eliminate targets, insurgents, rebels, or whatever labels that can be flagged as targets on a global information grid in a network-centric warfare environment. The J2 system is a network-centric software-based AI program at the helm. This, this isn't actually my conclusion. I mean, everything that I'm going to be discussing with you here today is in the documents. This system ha uses vast sums of information collected on individuals, groups, population-centric regions, and large geographic areas and or countries. It then dumps all that information into a module called an HTA. Um, which is a human terrain analysis tool, which then analyzes the data to develop an HTS or human terrain system. Uh, once the human terrain system is established, it, de it determines, and this is going to start to get really hairy, okay? It determines behavioral parameters for norms of individuals, groups, population centric areas, etc. The establishment of these uh, formulated parameters is known as the human domain, which we've all been hearing about out, out there in the media and on the blogospheres and everything. It can then identify, extract, or eliminate perceived threats or targets based on deviations from these norms. Okay, Jade can also examine, examine the human terrain system over time with the use of thousands of remote sensors, <clears throat> both audio and visual, as, re as well as real-time communication monitoring and um, other types of HTA tools to change or rewrite its program parameters in a particular human domain. This system can read and measure human emotion and social media content. Okay, the one paper goes on to say that activity can change rapidly in a crisis event or a warfare scenario and it's able to change or rewrite its own COA or course of action on the fly. The system is aware. It has total awareness even in a rapidly changing environment. These huge data dump centers like the one in Blufftail and many, many other ones are connected into this global information grid. So if you want to look at it from that, st that um, perspective, the global information grid would be the central point on the okay. network system. It takes me a minute to get my mind around these things, but I'm, I'm with you. Keep rolling. Okay. Now, format which is the force management mo uh, module for this system, was developed by the MITRE Corporation, and it's used to support knowledge acquisition. Okay, that's data collection. That's what the NSA is performing on everyone, not just identified threats, but everyone. Why? Because the government now perceives the American people, I believe, as its greatest threat, and it will use a computer-driven military to clamp us down. Patriots will be classified as terrorists, and the true terrorists, uh, the, the um, U.S. puppet government we have out there who receives its directives and agendas from the ruling elite, they'll be deemed patriots to be protected at all costs. Makes sense. Okay, the third module in this system is known as PARCA. It's able to handle extremely complex structured queries against large knowledge bases or large databases data dumps. You know, in my humble opinion, this is just another example of deception through misdirection. Oh, we're just collecting, you know, your phone numbers you're passing by and um, we're not keeping any of your emails or your text messages or anything like that. Well, if you look at how this system is structured, that's the critical data the system needs. It doesn't need, it can't work off metadags, tags, and metadata. I mean, <clears throat> they're virtually empty data until they're indexed to something or something is indexed to them. J, J2 is 
and hold on to your seat for this one. It's a self-reactive, self-adapted, self-modeling program for predictive force deployment. In other words, it can predict conflicts before they occur and react in a preemptive manner. Okay. It only think okay, it kind of like it only it thinks in the present, but it can predict future events or human activity. And these conflicts are not conf confined to a warfare scenario either. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the predict and preempt capabilities can also be applied to scenarios of social unrest. And that's not just my opinion, that's stated right in the reports and the, the papers All right. on this software. Good grief. Okay. okay. So let's look at some of the other key functional, functionality or capabilities um, of this system. And right now we're just talking about the Jade system because that's what everybody's concerned about right now, Jade, Jade Helm. It can make high-level trade determinations. It makes decisions regarding casualties and targets in line with the overall mission objective. Okay. It is a total command, uh, it has total command and control in an information intensive society. Now, from a military standpoint, the term command is more or less a legal or a behavioral standard of actions performed or not performed by military officers to which they can later be held ac accountable. The Jade system displaces that standard from individual commanders and places it on itself. Total command and control of all information over land, sea, airspace, and cyberspace is how they will master the human domain. It says that in the PDF slides, it says that in the software papers, okay? It's cognitive and adaptive learning capabilities enables it to predict, predict intent. Now we're not talking on the military side here, we're talking on either the enemy or civilian side, whichever way you want to look at it. So it can predict intent of an adversary or target as well as predict a range of potential behaviors of those targets and it does this instantaneously. This doesn't require a bunch of military commanders sitting around a table. You know, going back and forth. Well, how should we handle this? I don't know. I think we should do it this way. The machine's making the the system's making the decisions for them. This is just a, a sub layer, a layer on top of a much larger system that's already in place. Okay. Uh, Jade can uh, Jade two can reconfigure its own network to topography to optimize communication and data transfers. Um, in one of my other reports, I talked about BBN technologies, use of bandwidth extenders um, on the cellular and wireless architecture networks. Well, this is what they're referring to. Um, an example of this might look like, you know, you're driving down the road, all of a sudden you lost cell phone service in a, in a particular area or for a particular time, when in actuality, your bandwidth's been reallocated to the system. Another command and control problem this system is designed to handle is the fact that the enemy has always been able to adapt to a rapidly changing environment to hide itself from exposure. In order to combat this problem, okay, the kill chain had to be compressed from hours to seconds. The system removes the administrative delay in the kill chain. It has no moral compass, no empathy, or regrets. The hardware that this system's running on isn't your run-of-the-mill supercomputer, right? Um, your run-of-the-mill supercomputer. Yeah. That's a good yeah. one. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, it's not a Cray. It's nothing like that. It's going to be running thousands of processors on a single chip. This is, without a doubt, the direction these command and control systems are moving toward. You just can't process the uh, vast amounts of data being collected using conventional linear computing technology. You know, you get to a diminishing point of return at, at, at some stage of the game here with these data dumps. <clears throat> 
This is very disturbing. Now, can you hold your your can you hold your train of thought while I pop in and out? Sure. It seems to me, DJ, that this is why, while people are going, now, why would Obama or whomever is pulling his chain? Why would they fire all these highly competent military officers? Why are they firing these people who said they won't fire on U.S. citizens? Why are they because we don't need them anymore? Because somebody who's completely okay with that is going to uh, make use of this computer apparatus to do the dirty work that they want to do that these people who have been fired would not do. I think you're exactly right. Carry on, my dear. The system thinks, plans, and executes. Remember, emotional behavior, physical behavior, activity behavior, outside of the norm, identifies targets. And above all, no fear. Don't be afraid of this operation from either standpoint, the military standpoint or the system standpoint. When you're in a state of fear or you're in a state of anger, you do not make good decisions. And the system's predicated on that. And the system is predicated on that. Mm-hmm. I got to tell you something. <laughs> I've had some pretty interesting conversations over the years, but I'm, I'm about to award this one the proverbial cake. I think this one takes the cake. Even if, even if everything you said, everything you said was wrong, and I don't think it is, by the way, it's still just so complex, so diabolical, so screwed up in in this beautifully engineered way that you really have to kind of step back and admire it. It's like, wow, that that is extraordinarily monstrous. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, with respect to Jade Helm, you know, the key is don't participate, don't display emotional an, an emotional response. The, the sensors and the data collection, social network, they, they're going to be picking up on that da- data and they're counting on it. Okay, and um, like I said, it appears that the system responses are triggered triggered by negative emotions. Now, with respect to GeoN, okay, this is a much bigger issue. Okay, you would have to get off the technological grid to the best of your individual ability, and that is much easier said than done. What they've done was, you know, we've been provided with all of this wonderful technology to make our lives more convenient and easier and more interconnected. And what they've turned around and done is they've turned that technology against us. 